and welcome back to the channel and as you saw just a moment ago I'm out on the Blair Graffiti and if you're wondering wondering why I was showing you the bike beforehand I was just gonna point out that hey I'm the cool kid in the neighborhood because I ride a cool bike nobody said that I just said that because I think this bike is cool So I wanted to talk today on this video a little bit about getting your first e-bike and how exciting it is to get that very first e-bike and go for the very first ride and <clears throat> I just wonder how many folks get the opportunity to try an e-bike before they buy did you have that luxury to be able to do that I never did so I purchased my uh, first e-bike the uh, Brad Rover online so I was only going by what I learned about the bike either reading it or watching YouTube videos about the bike. That's how I learned about the bike. And I got that bike at the time because it was a um, popular bike out there at the time. And it still is today. And also uh, it got good reviews. And they appeared to be, which, and they still are a well-respected uh, company ride power bikes so but I never got to test ride it or anything so uh, the first time I went for a ride on an electric bike was after I got that bike and assembled it I shouldn't say a sem a partial assemble because you didn't need to do too much to it put a few things on and away you go but uh so I didn't have the opportunity to try a bike before I bought. In fact, I've never tried any of the bikes before I bought them. They're all purchased online and no try try until you unbox. So, but I'm just curious of uh, how many folks out there, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of folks would be in the same boat as myself. They probably never tried an e-bike until they purchased one and unboxed it and set it up and, and then got their first ride in but you know today it's a little bit different now because as we move along here in the uh, more recent years there's getting to be more and more bikes out there and more and more shops selling the bikes and so it does give folks more opportunity to do a test ride, which is really nice. I mean, if I had a chance to uh, test ride, then I would like that. But the thing is, all the bikes I want to get, there's nowhere around that sells them. There's only certain, in my area here, certain kind of bikes uh, that are sold by stores and uh, so the ones I want I don't have the opportunity in my area to uh, test drive so you got to try to learn as much as you can about the bike and um, hopefully there's some videos online but that doesn't always happen either like this bike here was a brand new model and uh, and uh, it hadn't you know I was one of the first to get it so unless you are one of the lucky few to be a uh, test test ride their prototype
So it does make it a bit of a a challenge and a crapshoot as far as uh, hopefully liking the bike after you purchase it. I've never had issues. I like every single one of my bikes. So. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below if you got to either test ride the bike that you eventually bought or maybe test rode somebody else's electric bike just to get the feel. I didn't even, like I said, I didn't even get to test any electric bike. I had never tried them before, but I know one thing that when I first did, I thought, wow. I mean, I literally felt like Superman because I was only used to riding a traditional bike, not, a, not an electric bike. And so when you get on there and start pedaling, you're thinking, wow, either I'm super strong and powerful or this bike is really giving me a lot of energy. And of course, it's the uh, bike that's giving you a lot of the juice. The pedaling is so much easier. You can, you feel like you could go for miles, you know, which you can. And you're not gonna be winded or exhausted or... And if you wanna just, like I, on this bike, I basically just throttle. <clears throat> if you buy a bike with a throttle too, you can have your choice if you need to take a break at some point. You can do that. I'd always want to get a bike with a throttle option. Just in case for some reason you can't pedal or you need a brake from pedaling. You know, the... Uh, Let's say, now this is far-fetched, but it could happen. You get a Charlie horse in your leg or cramp, and you can't pedal, and you're quite a ways from home. What do you do, you know? Like, having the throttle option there is good in situations like that. You know, or maybe you can only pedal for a very short time. And uh, you have the option of having a throttle there. So I always like having the throttle. Even, even if you're going to be pedaling all the time, there's still, when you get to a stop sign or an intersection, I think it's always best to throttle to get yourself going. Another beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest. Just coasting down a little slight hill here. Save a little bit on your battery.
as we move toward fall time now as we're into the month of August this is the time of year which is kind of odd but uh, where new bike models will start to come out in the fall and uh, your riding season is just about over so better to get them out in the spring so that you can have the summer to ride them or get them out in the late winter just in time for spring ah, that's just my opinion And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.